Hi, I'm Neil Burrows. Um, I'm the Process Improvement Specialist for RS and Eaton Facilities. We look after the site, which is approximately 65,000 square feet, with a team of 30 technicians. So on site, we've got around seven kilometres of conveyor system. That all interacts with the FPF sorter, which is the forward pick face sorter, which is the, uh, the machinery that routes all the storage bins and picking bins around the warehouse. The challenges we have with that is maintaining uptime because the operation runs 24-5, so from 10 o'clock on a Sunday night through to 10 o'clock on a Friday night, and we need to keep it running for operation so they can do their job. One of the things that's now helping us with that is a device that's been installed by a company called Brain Boxes. That's now feeding live data into our RS SAM system that enables us to pick up real-time incidents and react more quickly, so therefore we can keep the uptime to a maximum. Hi, my name's Luke Walsh from Brain Boxes. We're a manufacturer based in the northwest of England. We design and manufacture electronic modules for industry. What these modules allow you to do is connect a machine to another machine or a machine to the internet, allowing you to understand what is happening on your production line. Brainbox's technology enables companies of any size to internet enable their machines to monitor the capability and the downtime associated with their machine's output. Downtime costs industry huge amount of money per hour. A typical SME spends between 500 and 1500 pounds in lost productivity per hour of machine downtime. By using our products, they can minimize downtime and maximize their productivity. There's a lot of talk about Industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things and what that means for businesses. Brainboxes allows your, you to simply retrofit your existing machines at a low cost with Industry 4 and Internet of Things technology. This allows you to monitor machine uptime, reduce machine downtime and save you money on your production line. Brainboxes got involved with RS Nuneaton when we came to look at their warehouse. In their warehouse they have a machine called the Forward Pick Face. This is a huge conveyor roundabout where all the packed goods arrive and then get sorted and sent out in another direction. On this conveyor belt, all RS orders are processed and if there's an issue here, it affects the order delivery for the whole factory. What Brainboxes saw was when a, a box was poorly positioned, it may cause a crash in the system in future. So using the existing sensors on the FPS sorter, we wired them into our module and measured all the signals. Using software on the module, we made sense of these signals and sent them to the IBM Watson cloud. From the cloud, we present a dashboard to the end user, showing them clearly how busy the sorter is at any given moment, how many totes are well positioned, how many are too far forward, and how many are too far back. The idea of this is it will prevent totes from causing a crash in future by warning the maintenance team of a problem before it occurs. Inside the cabinet are the signals that are generated by the photo eye sensors. They come into this pre-existing PLC. Once they're at the PLC, they're processed by the PLC. Without interfering with this setup, we tap those pre-existing signals and bring them down into our remote I.O. module. The remote I.O. module is fitted into the cabinet on a DIN rail, is powered by 24 volts, which is already available in the cabinet, and the sensor signals are uh, using terminal blocks are wired into the module. To install uh, the remote I.O. module, the Ethernet and the uh, intelligence only took an engineer half an hour. Because they're using pre-existing signals, you need an on-site engineer who understands what they are, and then they can tap into those signals and bring them down to our module. Once this is done, the software is pre-configured and pre-loaded onto the device, the connection to the internet happens automatically and the data starts streaming to IBM Watson. And so what our device does is it pre-filters the data and sends up only the interesting data points to the cloud without sending everything, including all the background noise, to the cloud.
Now we have this setup, the RS maintenance engineer can replicate this setup on the other forward pick faces which are on site. So in summary, the Brainboxes module is quick to install, cheap to install, and gives a huge insight into uptime of a machine, contributing to greater efficiency in your production line. One of the benefits we've seen from installing IoT devices is it's taken us into the predictive maintenance arena. And by that I mean we can see when things are going out of tolerance rather than waiting for something to break and then having to react and attend a breakdown situation. We can actually plan jobs now and do them outside of operational hours and therefore not impact operations and ensure the uptime of the equipment is maintained. The brain boxes device that we've installed on the PLC of the FPF sorter uh, enables us to tap into data that's already there um, it's just that it's now given us in a format where we can analyse it better and it's taken us in directions we currently haven't been before. Therefore, we can be more proactive in terms of sorting the equipment out rather than waiting for breakdowns and having to react. So one of the uh, data streams that's come online is about the utilisation of the sorter, which is actually showing us how underused it is at certain periods of the night. So what this has enabled us to do is to negotiate with operations to get more time to pre-plan jobs to work on the sorter, but in turn it also allows us to pre-plan any parts we may need to use as well. So we've got a new cloud-based uh, CMMS system. This now enables us to generate work orders automatically and doesn't rely on somebody in the control room having to do it manually, which speeds up the breakdown process. So in the long term, this will enable us to uh, improve the longevity of the assets on site, um, and as mentioned, this will help reduce stock holding and save us money moving forward.